having a bite to eat or having a cup of coffee, we do it every day and don't even think about swallowing. Yeah, we take it for granted, but millions of Americans are unable to swallow, preventing them from eating regular food. News 6 investigator Erica Washington visited a local rehabilitation center where patients suffering from this condition are getting results thanks to some new technology. Imagine not being able to eat your favorite foods. No pizza, french fries, or even drink a cup of water. All because you can't swallow. I hadn't had a hamburger or even a cup of coffee for a year and a half. Richard Kennedy is one of 15 million Americans who suffer from a condition called dysphagia. In fact, half of people over 60 will experience some kind of swallowing disorder. And a hard swallow. Good. But after three months of intense therapy, I have just started with two hands eating a hamburger. It takes me quite a while to eat, but I enjoy every bite. Absolutely. Richard credits a new therapy at Mattercare Rehabilitation for helping him relearn how to swallow. Like that. Elaine Barker has been a speech pathologist for over 20 years. Good. And says this new high tech therapy called Synchrony is a game changer. You can't put a value on something like this to go from not being able to eat anything at all, ever, to being able to eat anything that he wants to eat. Here's how Synchrony works electrodes are attached to the patient. The electrical stimulation measures the strength or muscle contraction of the swallow. Patients can literally see the swallow in real time using virtual reality biofeedback signals. It's not just that they can't swallow, often they can't feel when they're swallowing, so they don't know when the food is there. They don't know if they're swallowing. This program uses game-like interactive activities, showing exactly how hard Richard is swallowing during an exercise and when he needs to improve. It tells you, okay, you were at this level, now we want to get up to this level, and then they can watch and see, well, that time it didn't work, but this time, wow, I did it. Now, what did I do, and can I replicate that? Huh. Douglas Young also uses this therapy. He suffered from a stroke six years ago and has struggled with his speech and difficulty swallowing. Just three months of therapy and he too is already seeing the benefits. It forced me to concentrate on the muscles in my face and throat. I don't like to talk like a disabled person. So the more I speak better, the better I feel. Elaine places the electrodes on facial muscles for Doug's exercises. When he uses the correct muscles, Ooh. the kangaroo hits the target. In the beginning, he was very difficult to understand, if you could understand him Ooh. at all, especially on the telephone. And now he can call people, he talks to his friends, he talks to his dad. There are a million new cases of dysphagia every year. And again, people suffering from this have to modify their diet or use a feeding tube. Now, who typically suffers from dysphagia? Well, it can occur following a stroke, a brain injury, or even cancer. Now, therapists tell me that the equipment used is non invasive and safe for patients of all ages. Erica Washington, News 6. Erica, thanks. And for more information about this new technology, we have placed a link on our Facebook page.